All right, guys, well, my vehicle hasn't been foam bath in a long time, a nice, good exterior wash, so we're gonna do that today. Just take it easy. It's only about 85 degrees, so it's a good time. Now let's get started on the wheels and tires. We're gonna start with a Keys 37 tire and rubber rejuvenator, then we'll spray on some foaming wheel gel, and then we'll seal them up with the Hydro Blue Pro. All right, well, the McKee's Tire and Rubber Rejuvenator Concentrate. This dilutes one part product to three parts water. I've got about 18 or 19 ounces of water in this bottle, so I'm gonna add six ounces of product. Shake it up and you're ready to go. All right, let's get started on these dirty tires and rims. We're gonna be using the tire and rubber rejuvenator at first. We're gonna spray it on. Then we're gonna spray on the foaming wheel cleaning gel. We'll agitate everything up, rinse it off. Then we'll spray on the Hydro Blue Pro, rinse that off, and we're done. Check it out. This tire and rubber rejuvenator does a nice job at pulling up all the dirt and grime off the rubbers. It has a little bit of foam in the agitation and it does an excellent job at cleaning them. And here I'm just waiting a little while and letting the foaming wheel cleaning gel do its thing. This is a little different because it changes color like your normal iron removers, but this changes to like an orange color, not a dark purple. So it's pretty cool, not your average purple coloring iron decon. And this stuff really cleans your rims well, guys. Another thing that makes it easier to get into the spokes and little crevices of the rims is this cool Chanel wash mitt. My hand fits inside it so I can reach around and get in my fingers in all the little spaces. Uh, I do have fat fingers so it doesn't always get into the tightest spots but you understand what I'm saying. You can get these all over the place. Dollar store, car wash store, Walmart, very easy to find. Then I'm using a little brush here to get into the lug nuts and any areas that I missed as well. Just new toys, play with, different stuff. I get bored. Then you wanna rinse them off thoroughly. Grab your Hydro Blue Pro, spray it on. Get it all over inside and out. And you wanna rinse it immediately. And after that, you're done. You can do this to all four wheels and tires. Look at the nice beads, it's protected well, everything's clean. Now we can start the car wash process. All right guys, since it's a cool day, we're gonna go ahead and wash this car outside. And I'm using my gas pressure washer. Nothing works as good as gas. I don't care what these forums say, what anybody says, gas is the way to go. It pumps the power through and the foam is awesome. Check it out.
Now just so you know, inside this foam cannon is pure soap. It is a gallon that I had broken and I poured it into these bottles and I've been saving them. So this is pure soap I'm just trying to go through. And you know what, it really lasts a long time. I've probably done four cars with this one container. The more soap in there, the less I seem to use. I don't know how that works, but it's, it's different than when mixing water and soap together. The foam is thick, I mean mega thick, plus you got the gas pressure washer behind it, so I don't know. These, this combination just is pretty cool to me, and I like it. So this is just the pre-foam step. Basically, I wanted to get on the car, break down some dirt and debris, and pull it off. Then I'll rinse everything off one time, and I'm gonna foam it again, and then I'm gonna do a hand wash. Now, when I do this hand wash, I didn't put any soap in the buckets. It's just water. But I'm gonna foam it again, because Foaming it again allows me to have that super foam on it where I don't get that when I use bucket wash soap. I'm not saying I don't put soap in buckets, but this time I didn't. And you'll see how nice and lubricating it is, how much foam stays on the car. It's just easier. And this is why I like foam cannons. There's a lot of debate on whether one they work or not, or one should use one or not. Are they just for show? I don't think so. I think they have a purpose and a place, and I love using them. halfway through my wash process I'll re-foam it one more time because it is hot where I live and I don't want soap drying on the vehicle so one more quick foam and I'm done start finishing the second half of the wash easy as that keep it lubricated keep it wet We're almost done, guys. Then we rinse the car, then we'll dry it. We'll dress the tires. We'll do the door jams, make sure they're all dry, the gas tank, the trunk lid. That's it. Alright, if you guys are liking these videos, hit that subscribe and like button. Help support the channel. We appreciate it. Now let's get on with the drying. We're using the McKees Glacier Drying Towel. This is their largest size towel. 
and it is awesome at drying. I love using this towel. It's got little pockets for your hands to go into so you can drag it around nice and easy.